In order to service your LuxX regulator, we'll first need to remove it from the marker. In order to do so, we're going to remove our regulator cover and the regulator cover retention nut. To remove the nut, we're going to use a 5 16 Allen key inserted into the base of the regulator platform. It's important that you only enter the regulator nut enough to remove the nut itself and not so much as to go into the regulator body. Inserting through the base, remove the regulator cover retaining nut, and then put our finger in and press out to remove the regulator cover itself, exposing the regulator inside the front of the body. Once again, going in through the bottom with our 5 16 Allen, we're going to insert it into the regulator body itself and turn outwards. This is a counterclockwise motion if you are looking at the bottom of the regulator. With the regulator out of the marker, you can go ahead and set it aside, and we can take a closer look at the regulator components themselves. In order to do standard service on the regulator, you will not need any tools. However, for a full breakdown, you will need your 5 30 seconds Allen key. This is the same Allen key we use for velocity adjustment. For standard maintenance, all we're going to do is remove and clean and lubricate the regulator piston. And the way we remove that is by utilizing one of the two notches here on the top of the regulator. You can use a pick or your fingernail to simply pull out the regulator piston and set it aside and you'll also get the regulator spring. Now looking down inside the regulator, you can see our, the top of the velocity adjuster, which also acts as the carrier for the Lux X regulator seat. To pull that seat and carrier out, we're gonna insert our 5 30 seconds Allen key down to the bottom, just like we would if we were adjusting the velocity. Go ahead and turn counterclockwise and this will push the velocity adjuster and regulator seat carrier up into the area that was previously occupied by the reg piston and spring. Once free, you'll be able to press the, reg the velocity adjuster and regulator seat carrier up through the body of the regulator and remove it and now you'll have your reg in all of its major components. Your regulator piston, regulator spring, and your velocity adjuster, as well as the carrier for your regulator seat. Your velocity adjuster and regulator seat carrier are two separate components that join here to clamp down on the regulator seat and form one subassembly. To take this subassembly apart, we're going to take our 5 30 seconds Allen key, insert it in the base. This is the same location you'd be inserting it in if you had the regulator fully assembled and we're adjusting the velocity. Second, we're going to use the holes in the regulator seat carrier in order to give us some leverage to turn against. I like to use a 1 8 Allen key down through the holes. Again, this is just to give us some purchase to separate the two components. Once the two components are separated, you will be able to access the regulator seat, which sits on top of the velocity adjuster. Now this regulator seat is unique to this platform. It cannot be used in previous generation Lux regulators. However, it does have a unique property in that it can be removed simply with a fingernail or pick and reinstalled again the other direction and has two usable surfaces. So each regulator seat can be used once on its primary surface and again on the secondary surface, which makes an excellent uh, backup feature should you need it. The inspection process here is simply checking the surface of the regulator seat for debris or scratches, and we wanna make sure that it is clean and clear. Reassembly is very simple. We're going to simply just start screwing the two pieces together like to take a small amount of blue Loctite, this is Loctite 241, and simply put it on the threads. Simply no more than a drop is necessary and certainly you can remove some excess with your finger. 
all we're trying to do here is make sure that when we assemble the two parts that everything stays assembled. So reassembly again, just five thirty seconds in the bottom, one eighth Allen to give us something to brace up against, and simply join the two components once again. We don't need a lot of torque here, simply enough to snug the two components. The Loctite will act to keep the subassembly together. And now we have torn down and reassembled our velocity adjuster and regulator seat carrier. We can go ahead and put the whole regulator back together, properly serviced. Reassembly of the Lux X regulator is very straightforward. We're going to start with our regulator seat carrier and velocity adjuster. Take a small amount of factory lubricant and place it on the lower O-ring on the outside of the carrier, as well as a small amount on the upper orifice of the regulator seat carrier. Then we're going to take the assembly, place it down into the body of the regulator until we feel it come to a stop on the top of the threads that are here in the lower portion of the regulator body. We're going to then reach down through the bottom, insert our 5 30 seconds Allen key while applying pressure from the top with our finger and slowly thread it into its assembled, assembled place. Your finger on the top will feel the cartridge go down into the body of the regulator until it's ultimately flush with the base inside this upper pocket. It'll come to a stop. You do not want to torque it. You simply want to make sure that it's nice and flush in there. Next, we're going to lubricate our regulator piston simply by putting enough lubricant around the top here to fill in the grooves on either side of the O-ring. Additionally, we're gonna put a small amount of lubricant here on the nose of the piston. This is just enough to allow it to engage in the velocity adjuster without hanging up on anything. Finally, we'll put a regulator piston spring in and slide the entire assembly together. Now we have our fully serviced and ready to install LuxX regulator.